yo, yo. What's up guys and welcome back to another one. I know this is probably a weird, different way to open up a video, but the original opening of the video was not suiting for the time of day. What I'm saying is, this video I've been holding on to a little bit. It is the last duck hunt that I actually got in before we have this long split. This was actually filmed on December 21st, so, you know, it was a while ago. As a lot of you know, Wes, the big videographer, the big filmer for the Guggen Squad actually came in and did some work for us at Ducks and let me tell you we had an amazing two days with him here. Two killer hunts and I cannot wait for you guys to see those videos. Those videos that Wes filmed will actually be on Flair's channel so be expecting some very very high quality videos coming from Flair's channel nearing the end of the month. Another reason why I'm opening the video like this is I just got done editing this video and I look back and this is a really good video. The intro wouldn't have done any good for this video because this is the one time that me and Wade were able to go just, you know, best friends, going out just me and him, getting back to our roots, just me and him hunting a small body of water, some goose decoys, some duck decoys, and a mojo. Some of the worst hunts you'll have the greatest memories from because you got bored and you did some dumb stuff. But I want to get into this video real quick. I want to show you this. This is our Ducks Labrador Retriever shirt. We're trying to bring you guys some new, more graphic designs. We're going to have this bad boy available for 48 hours only. I will link this bad boy in the description if you want to go grab one. But 48 hours, we haven't done one in a while. These graphic tees, we want to start bringing you guys more of. So if you guys have a good idea for a graphic tee, something like this, that maybe we're just not thinking of drop a comment down below let me know and we will make it we need some help with some design ideas so let me know what you guys want to see but link is in the description below go check it out go grab one if you want it 48 hours only and then she is gone but remember no matter how much scouting you do no matter how big or how small the hunt is always try to captivate it always enjoy it for what it's worth but i'm done talking I hope you guys enjoy. Well, here we are. We decided to hunt water today. It's only old me and old, old McGee over there. But only two of us this morning. I thought he said there was four of us, but he was talking about four the dang dog. Oh yeah, look at four over there. Look at him. Look at him. Get it, boy. Get her out. Yeah. So, little water hunt. We've always wanted to hunt this little water hole. We're gonna give her a whack and sit out goose and duck decoys with a mojo. And we gonna see how it goes. Put goose decoys up in here and cut the floaters out that way. So they can come in like this. No limit, I'm a fucking soldier. Hey, always lit, yeah, I'm never sober. It's for three days in a row, y'all be coming over. Told that bitch to kick rocks, she act like it's a boulder. Woo, it is hot. It is hot out here, G Mini Christmas. Like I said, it's like 47, 52 degrees. It's plum warm. But this is our setup here. We are set up on the water. We got some goose floaters over yonder. You there? This whole middle is all full bodies that walk up here in the grass. And then we got some duck decoys and a mojo over on the right side. Got the A-frame set up and these cattails up on the bank. Should be money. We are tucked in. I got a tumor on my head. We got ducks flying. They're buzzing the decoys right now. Oh yeah, there's another group. We got just a couple minutes before shooting light here. Oh, hear them? They are buzzing us. God, dude came in fast. That was not ready at all. Holy cow, they buzzed right over the bank. Yeah, we didn't drop any, but man, they buzzed in here quick. Yeah, look at them get down over there. Jeez, they're just buzzing over the top of us here, going to that creek. Golly, you can't see him in the yeah. trees. Yeah. Holy cow. Back. 
Can't see him when he gets under them trees over there. He blended in. Dude, they came floating. Gonna come on the right side. Oh, we're gonna have to just shoot. Uh, we just had three mallards literally burn us over the top and circle around. We we're gonna let them decoy, but they landed out too far. We're just gonna have to start smoking them when they're above us. What do you got going on here? What do you got going on here? Oh, but they're fast. Wow. Yep, here they come. They're coming back right here. They are fast. There's gonna be some fast shooting here, right here, right here, right here. Oh my God. <laughs> well, let's try to shoot them if they do that again. Take them. Oh my, yeah, right. Like we're gonna shoot any of them fast. About knocked my whole GoPro off my head trying to, gee, many Chris. We are not professionals out here by no means. Dude, those are freaking fast birds. Wow. I don't see them, but we're getting ready to get. Oh, here they are. Coming over the top. Mm -hmm. If you want. Take it. Jesus, really? What the? F I didn't drop one? Uh, why? Okay, we're going to wait next time to see if they come back. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we got some. Oh, get in here. Swing in here. Give him some hums. Well, we got a bunch flying over us. Come here, four. Four here. Sit. Oh boy, look at this. They might fly right over us, dude. Either they're gonna come back or they're not. Gave us one little chance. No, just, oh yeah, yeah, right here. Get ready, get ready. Oh my God. Ready? Smoke him. Oh, go down, I hit you too. They're landing, look, they're coming back. <laughs> get him, get him. <laughs> we got four down. Yeah, that was sweet. That was sweet, they floated right in here. Four is going to be tired. Well, just dropped four honkers. Uh, we've been waiting for them to come back from feed. We knew that they were loafing here, just get, stopping here after the first morning initial feed and getting a drink on here. And sure enough, man, they just floated right in from the right side and uh, about a 30 yard shot dropped four of them big old boys. Oh. <sighs> What's up guys? I hope you enjoyed the video. Believe me, I enjoyed this hunt a ton. It's nice getting out and just having a small water hunt, not having to sit up a whole enclosed trailer every time in the field. It's just nice getting back to your roots with your best bud in the blind. You two just getting down. You guys know all the big field hunts that we do. As much as I love doing that, it's so nice just getting back to the roots of things. A small hunt, not worrying about shooting a bunch, not having eight, ten people. It's just nice. Never lose grasp of why you started duck and goose hunting. Always go back to those small roots, the, the foundation of why you started, and go do it again and again. That's what's important. It's not important to stack birds all the time. Yes, it's nice when you have them killer hunts 
but those little hunts they are worth a ton but i know it was a short video guys it was a small hunt not a long video i could have vlogged a little more i literally thought that the hunt was going to be a lot better we scouted that little pond for a couple weeks and they were loafing on it using it in between feeds and i just figured it was going to be a ton better but like i said it's okay small hunts every now and then are just fine they remind me why i started this but after this video ends guys if you guys like the labrador retriever duck shirt the link is in the description below go grab you one they're only available for 48 hours and then they are gonna be gone and like i said guys if you guys want us to come out with a certain design t-shirt hoodie hat drop a comment down below and let us know what you guys want us to make what designs you want us to come out with but if you have any questions about this hunt regarding the setup, the spread, the shooting, because you know we did not shoot very well. Some of them were high shots like you've seen. Some of them were diver ducks that just were too fast for me to hit. But if you guys have any questions, comment down below. But be expecting Wes's awesome dope footage, dope videos coming out on Flair's channel at the end of the month. If you haven't, follow me on Snapchat here and follow me on Instagram here. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. If you like this little hunt, drop me a thumbs up because it means a lot. It lets me know that you guys appreciate the small hunts still if they weren't big bangers. Thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace!